I just closed the door. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jess. So, have a little bit of a different video for you today. Um, today, I am going to be showing you how I took my uh, KitchenAid from just black, plain KitchenAid to this lovely pink beauty that you see here. Look at that. Look at her. Um, so here's what I learned. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do this, but anyway, um, when I sanded down the mixer, before I spray painted it, I forgot to like wipe it all down and make sure that I got like it totally clean and rid of all the like fibers and imperfections that were on it. It's okay. The paint still did stick. There are like a little bit, like there's some bumpy spots like right there there's some bumpy spots or I'm trying to find I it's it's not that bad like right here um, there's a couple of like little bumps it's okay I mean the KitchenAid itself still works so it's okay but um, that is one thing I learned in this process Really, it all went really easily and really smoothly. Um, I found another KitchenAid on OfferUp for $50. Catches, it doesn't work, so I do have to get that one um, in working condition. It should be pretty easy to do. And then I'm going to paint that one too. Anyway, I digress. I just wanted to put out there really quick that when you do this process, after you sand it, like you'll probably know you, you're probably smart enough to figure this out that you're supposed to wipe it down. Um, I wasn't smart enough for that. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do to get started is I'm going to take this band off of the KitchenAid. Um, it, there's just a little screw back here holding it on, so I'm just going to unscrew it and take the band off. All right, so I've got the metal band taken off. Now there's um, this little part here that I need to take off. This is just the part that holds the bowl. All right, so I'm gonna sand this and we've gotta clean it too. Um, and get all the flour, cookie dough mix, who knows what else kind of mix. Clean it really good, and then we're going to sand it. Um, and I'll tape off a lot of this. I'll tape off anything that I don't want to, um, to get spray painted, but right now I probably need to do a really good deep clean on it, and then I will start sanding. Now that I have the KitchenAid clean, uh, all the grime is off of it, I'm going to sand it down. Um, once it's sanded, then I'll tape everything off. All right, so I'm gonna start sanding for sandpaper. I have um, 80 grit. Um, I just cut it, it comes in big sheets. I just cut it so it would have little sheets of it. Um, and I also got this. This looked pretty cool. It's a little um, sand sander. I have no idea what this is. Dusting challenge. I have no idea what this is. But it's got the sandpaper on all sides of it. And I figured this might be good to get in little grooves. Also good to just have on hand just because. I don't know. I don't know. There is no going back now. Yeah, I just cut audio off. Maybe not on that part. What you doing? Still standing. Okay. It's done. You can see it's totally 
matte now. It's not shiny. Okay, I have that sanded down now. Um, now I am gonna go inside. I'm going to make the kids lunch and I will probably spray paint this later um, this evening or tomorrow. It's getting pretty hot and I don't want this to be tacky. I want it to be dry. So I don't wanna be spray painting it when it's gonna be really hot outside. Ignore my lovely backyard. Okay guys, see you. Hi everyone. Okay, it is day two of this project. It, the mixer has been sanded and it's been taped off and now we're going to paint it. Um, I was really torn between doing this pink or a champagne pink, but I think that this is the one I wanna do. And I'm on the hunt right now for another KitchenAid so that I can have uh, the other one too. So this is a high gloss prickly pear pink. All right, I did take the top off of the KitchenAid um, so that it was easier to sand yesterday. Um, also, because the motor, there's a little um, fan right here, I don't want to spray paint that. So I took it off and I have put bags over this so that nothing gets painted in here. Um, Cause I, that would be bad. All right, I'm going to, uh, spray paint this. I'll probably put this on like a fast forward motion so that I can uh, listen to my worship music. It's an awesome day for it. I'm out here in this beautiful um, Arizona Sunday morning weather. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna spray paint, get my worship on, okay? I've gone over with multiple, multiple coats. Sorry if it's hard to see me I'm outside. You know what's going on. Um, so I've gone over this with multiple, multiple coats. Um, I'm happy with where it's at and, and what's going on. So the thing is like this KitchenAid is a lift up KitchenAid. So the bowl rises. The handle takes this arm up. So right now what I'm dealing with is I've painted this and um, I'm gonna have to let it dry completely and then I'm gonna have to raise that arm up because what's gonna happen is you can show you. This spot back here, I've been able to paint it pink, but this spot here behind that, it's going to be black. So I'm going to have to uh, let this dry completely, lift this arm up, and then paint the black that's gonna be behind this, this chunk of the, the KitchenAid. So, uh, I'm gonna let it dry, I'll do that. This is a very uh, 
long and extensive project. I've learned a few things already since doing it and now I'm pretty excited to, uh, okay honey, now I'm pretty excited to find another KitchenAid to do this on. Hey guys, back for uh, round three of this two day project. Uh, everything is dry, I put on two, maybe three coats of enamel and it is completely dry. I'm ready to take off all the painter's tape and put it back together. Let's see. taken off oh my gosh it's so beautiful I'm really really happy with it I'm gonna screw everything back on okay finished product right here it's shiny and pink and beautiful oh it turned out so good it looks so good with all my floral stuff I ordered some uh, floral decals so I may put those on here I don't know I'm so pleased with how this looks how this looks just out on display with all my things. It looks so beautiful. I'm really pleased. So right here, um, when I was painting, I had the dial turned all the way over here. So I've got a black spot. Um, bound to happen, it's okay. All I have to do is take that spray paint, spray it onto a paper plate, and then take a paintbrush and paint it. It'll be totally fine you won't even know that that happened but it looks so good look at that with the silver like it just turned out really really good I'm very pleased with it yay oh like and subscribe I'll talk to you guys later